Hello everyone, this is Shilpa B, Assistant Professor of Department of ISC, Kendra Engineering College. So I am going to teach you file structure module 1. Uh, today let us start with the chapter 3, Secondary Storage and System Software. So firstly let us go for the organization of disk. So this is one of the important question in, some, uh, in our file structure concept organization of disk how exactly a hard uh, a disk is located in the disk drive okay so mainly we need to concentrate here the disk or the plater of the disk is located in spindle okay spindle is nothing but it acts as a stand the that carries plater okay so the spindle carries plater so spindle is getting rotated so along with the spindle the plater is also getting rotated okay so that is one thing we need to note down then we have a concept called as read write head we have a concept called as read write head so read write head is nothing but the uh, pointer which will move to a particular track and it can read or it can read the content from that track or it can write something onto that particular track okay so that is called as read write head so each plater is having two sides one is the upper side and one more lower side so for both side you will be having read write head so for one plater you will be having two uh, read write head where you can see one is above and one more is below okay so where exactly that read write head is located it is located to arm so this is the arm of the drive okay so this arm of the drive will be moving forward and backward that is left and right i can tell so this pen this spindle is going to rotate and the arm is going to move go forward and backward so why this arm will move arm is containing this uh, read write head that read write head needs to be uh, going to a particular track so track this is nothing but your track okay say so this is one track so it needs to go to that particular track in the same way you will be having one more track in your disk one more track so many tracks will be there right so this read write head needs to needs to be going to that particular track whichever we want so in order to go to that track you need to move your arm backward or front and that will carry your read write head and it will move your read write head backward or front to the particular position okay so that is about the arm and read write head then spindle is going to rotate along with the spindle your plater is also getting rotated because plater is fixed to spindle read write head is fixed to arm and uh, you have a concept called as cylinder so what is cylinder so cylinder is nothing but you will be having different tracks in the plater right so if I connect the track which are one above the other, if I connect those together, I will get a cylinder, right? So this is nothing but one cylinder. So this is a cylinder. So we have this cylinder concept later words. So for the pro problems which are there in this particular portion we need the concept of cylinder I will explain by that time so this is one side of the plater this section shows you a single disc one side of the plater okay where you can see several tracks here you can see one track this is one more track one more track you have three tracks over here right this is called as track 
and you can see each track is divided by using some uh, delimiter right so that is nothing but each track which is divided that is called as sector okay that is nothing but sector and in each sector you will be storing your data right here you are going to store your data we are calling it as block or data block okay so where inside the sector you are going to store your data so we cannot further divide the sector sector is the smallest unit of disk okay so track is divided into sector where in each sector you will be having a space to store the data that is called as data block so this is about the organization of disk so the as i told the information stored on the surface of one or more platter okay platters have tracks on the surface as i told each track is often divided into number of sectors track is divided into sectors a sector is the smallest addressable portion of the disk that is what we have on one single plate next when a read statement is called what exactly happens when a read statement calls for a particular byte from a disk file so what will happen is the everything uh, will be controlled by the operating system right so the operating system it is going to find a correct surface correct track and correct sector then it is going to read the entire sector into a special area we ca we call it as a buffer then it is going to find the requested byte within that buffer and reads it okay so what exactly happens when we uh, place a read statement and we want to read a particular data byte then operating system takes the job operating system goes to a particular surface whichever is mentioned and in that surface it goes to a particular track and in that track it is going to the particular sector which is mentioned in your uh, program and from the sector it is going to read the data and that will be stored in a temporary storage called as buffer and from the buffer it is inside the buffer the whole sector content will be stored okay from the whole sector content uh, we need only one or two uh, data okay so that only that data will be searched and go, we will get that data finds the requested byte and will wind up this is how exactly uh, happens when read statement calls for a particular byte now we have a number of platers in this structure we had three different platers right so each platter uh, as i told what is cylinder the track that are directly above and below one another we call it as a cylinder okay and what exactly uh, how exactly it, do, it does its job the significance of cylinder is that all of the information on single cylinder can be accessed without moving the arm that holds the read write head so what exactly that is if you see this particular diagram this is one cylinder isn't it so you can read everything whatever is there in one cylinder that can be read together uh, in one single seek once again if you have one more cylinder outer cylinder here then what will happen in order to read the data from this we need to seek but in one seek all the data from the first cylinder can be read together that is what the statement is without moving the arm you can read or write everything onto the single cylinder that is without moving the arm in the sense without seeking moving the arm we call it as seeking okay which is the slowest part of reading information from this uh, disk so 
without moving the arm if you can read so much data then obviously your performance got increased right so seeking is the slowest part of the uh, part of reading information that is why without seeking if you are doing some uh, reading operation then it will be improving your performance so that is about the organization of disk 